Hey guys, this is question MM052 of the Maths Methods Sharpen Study Guide. We've got the graph of f of x equals 2e to the power of 6x plus 5e to the power of 3x take 3, and we need to find out when it intersects the x-axis. So, uh, first things first is to, I guess, address the fact that this is a very, very strange looking function, and one that you might not have seen before. However, if you have done this kind of question before, you would have recognized that this is in fact uh, well, you can actually change this to a quadratic. Uh, and what I mean by that is this. If we rewrite this, we get f of x equals 2e to the power of uh, 6x plus 5e to the 3x take 3. And we want, what we want to actually do is try and create a quadratic. So we have 2e to the power of 3x squared, because that actually is the same as e to the power of 6x, according to our index laws, plus 5e to the power of 3x minus 3. Now, if you've done this sort of question before, you'll see where I'm going with this. Uh, but now we let e to the power of 3x equal a. And what that allows us to do is to create 2a squared plus 5a take 3. All we've done is replace e to the power of 3x um, with a. Where we go from here is we need to factorize. So we do our cross method. 2a, 2a times a is 2a squared. Uh, and then we get negative 1 here and 3 here to give us 2a take 1, a plus 3. And how we've done that is negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, and then 2a times 3 is 6a, take away a is 5a. So from here, we can see that uh, 2a take 1 equals 0, and a plus 3 equals, oh, a plus 3 equals 0. Uh, which means that a equals 1 over 2 and a equals negative 3. However, this is not the end of our question. So, because we know that a is equal to e to the power of 3x, we need to now sub that back in. So we get e to the power of 3x equals 1 half, because that's just equal to a, and e to the power of 3x equals negative 3. So, this is not correct. Um, that doesn't have a real answer. Uh, because you can never have a negative answer as an output from a exponential. So that's wrong. So we just disc we just exclude that from our answers. Here, uh, using our rearrangement, we get log e of 1 half equals 3x. Uh, and from there, x equals 1 third log e of 1 half. <coughs> which is actually not on any of our answers. However, it is in a different form. So, one half is equal to two to the power of negative one. Because two to the power of negative one is equal to one over two to the power of one, which is a half. Using our power uh, log law, we can bring this negative one out to the front and get negative a third log e of two, which is our answer A.